And now for our dinosaur of the day, Unesco Ceratops, which was a request from Crow via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a Ceratopsian that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Alberta, Canada. It looked kind of like Cetacosaurus. It walked on four legs, it had this short face with a beak, and it had quills or maybe feathers on the tail. Hmm, that is very much like Cetacosaurus. Yeah. It was small. It was estimated to be three to six and a half feet or one to two meters long and weighed 200 pounds or 97 kilograms. It was an herbivore. It probably ate low vegetation, food that was no more than three feet or one meter high. UNESCO ceratops had round teeth and a parrot-like beak and a hatchet-shaped jaw. It also had a short frill, but there was no ornamentation on its skull. The type species is UNESCO ceratops copulhuse. The fossil was found in 1995, and the holotype is a partial left lower jaw. It was found at a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Dinosaur Provincial Park, which is how it's got its name. And there's a referred specimen that's a partial right lower jaw fragment. UNESCO ceratops was thought to be too incomplete to describe for a few years, and it was thought to belong to leptoceratops, the bones were. Ryan and Curry actually first reported on the fossils back in 1998 and referred to it as Leptoceratops sp. Meaning they didn't know which species of Leptoceratops it went with. Yeah. Turned out not to be a Leptoceratops at all. No, it was UNESCO Ceratops. (laughs) And it was described in 2012 by Michael, Ryan, and others and found to be one of the most advanced Leptoceratopsids. The genus name means UNESCO Ceratopsian or UNESCO's horned face. And it's in honor of UNESCO's efforts to increase our understanding of natural history sites. And the species name is in honor of Ava Kopelhus. And if that name sounds familiar, she is a well-known paleobotanist. And she also often works with her husband, Phil Curry. Yep, we've seen them on a couple of digs together. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, talk about paleontology couple goals. (laughs) (laughs) UNESCO Ceratops had the same number of tooth sockets as the holotype of Juchung ceratops. In 2013, Jordan Mallon and others looked at how herbivorous dinosaurs in Dinosaur Park Formation ate, or fed, and they found that most species ate food about three feet or one meters off from the ground, no matter how much they weighed. Huh. Interesting. There must have been a lot of good food at that height. I guess so. Now, UNESCO ceratops probably couldn't reach above 1.6 feet or 0.5 meters while it was on all fours, but it could rear up to one meter or three feet, similar to other small ornithischians in the area. So it had some options. Other types of dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place as UNESCO ceratops included ankylosaurs, hadrosaurs, and theropods, and other animals that lived around the same time and place included amphibians, crocodilians, lizards, fish, plesiosaurs, and mammals. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.